In today's video, I'm just going to show how I incorporate FTP into my video production workflow. During a recent live stream, I mentioned it and the viewer asked what I meant by that. So I tried to do a live demo. However, that didn't go too well as the technology wasn't cooperating. So I thought I would make a follow up video. So if you think that's something you're interested in, stick around. So let's quickly talk about what is FTP. It stands for File Transfer Protocol. It's been around for a while. I'm not going to go into too much detail as you can search out on YouTube and find tons of videos explaining the basics of FTP. However, what you need to know for this video is that it is a communications protocol. It's used to transfer files usually between two devices, a server and a client that are within a network. Now, Keep in mind, FTP does not support encryption. Therefore, authentication, which is the transmission of usernames and passwords in this case, will occur in clear text and makes them vulnerable. However, for the use case that I'm going to show you in today's video, it works just fine. So let's take a look at this diagram here. What you're looking at is a diagram of the flow of my studio. And what we're going to focus on in this video is not so much all these other devices here, but on three devices. This one here, the A10 Mini Extreme, this is the heart of the system. We're going to look at this device here, which is a one terabyte SSD drive, which is plugged into the USB-C port on the back of the A10. And the other device we're going to focus on, or just I want to point out to you, is this device up here, which is a 27-inch iMac. So what I was trying to show the other day in my live stream was the fact that with this one terabyte SSD drive plugged into the back of the ATEM, anytime I record some footage, it's being recorded to this SSD drive. Now, typically I would have to physically unplug this drive and then plug it into my iMac up here to copy the data from the drive to my computer. And that could become troublesome in many ways. First of all, it slows down the process, as well as the constant plugging and unplugging of the ports eventually over time could wear down those USB ports. So this is where the FTP comes into play and it makes things much simpler. It speeds up the process. It allows me to leave this drive plugged into the ATEM and allows me to transfer files from the drive on this ATEM directly to my computer or in my case to a 1621 Synology NAS drive that's also sitting on my network. So what you're seeing here is a program called FileZilla. Now FileZilla is an FTP program that allows me to transfer the files from the hard drive that's connected to the ATEM Mini Extreme to my computer or to the NAS which is connected on my network and right now mounted to my computer. Let me show you what I mean. On the left side of the screen, you're looking at my computer and anything that any volumes that are connected to it. So if I click on the volumes tab here and expand it, you'll see there's a home directory here. And if I expand that home directory, this is the home directory on the Synology NAS that's connected to the network. So Underneath DaVinci Resolve data, what I normally do before I begin recording a video is I create a folder. So for example, you can see here I have FTP demo and currently I don't have anything in the folder. If you look down here, it's empty. So what are we going to do now to get the files that are on that drive over to the 1621? We're going to come up and we're going to connect to the ATEM. And what you're seeing here now is everything that's on that SSD drive that is connected to the ATEM. So again, on the left side is in this case, the 1621, the data folder that I have set up for these files on the right side are the files that are sitting on the ATEM, which in case, in this case is acting as the server. So it's pretty simple to simply drag the files over. I can just click on the file here and drag it over to the directory on the 1621. And there you can see the file was transferred successfully. Now, the question also arose the other night in the live stream, besides transferring to the NAS that's on the network, can you also transfer locally to your computer? And the answer to that is yes as well. If I come back here and navigate to my computer, I can navigate to my desktop folder and I could take that same file and drag it over to my desktop folder. 
And when it's done, it should be on the desktop folder and it's right here, but let me drag it over and show it to you. And here it is right here. Okay, so continuing with my workflow, how is that FTP transfer going to benefit me? Well, here I am, I'm launched into DaVinci Resolve and this is a new untitled project. So if I click down here in the media tab, up in the left-hand corner, you could see my file structure here. And here is that home folder that is on the 1621. So if I expand that and I expand DaVinci Resolve data, here's the FTP demo folder. Here are the files that were recorded on that SSD drive that were transferred over from the ATEM to the Synology 1621 Plus. All I have to do is grab them and bring them down into the media pool. And then DaVinci Resolve will ask about the frame rate for the project and I will match the frame rate to that of the clips. And now you can see the three clips are here. So if I come over to the edit mode, I could begin my editing process. Here are the three clips that were sent over to the 1621 on the network using FTP and are automatically available to me in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you could see how using FTP can benefit the video production process. In my case, just speeds things up, saves me from having to physically unplug and plug the drive, and it just makes things all that much simpler. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I do have links to my Patreon and PayPal down in the video description. And you could also now buy me a coffee. The link is below as well. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions as always. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.